Hey guys, what's going on? Right now I'm on the way to my bushcraft camp in the middle of the forest. And yeah, I haven't been here for a very long time. So now let's check out how the shelter has held up and what condition it is in. And yeah, it's full. So I've already seen some nice mushrooms and I hope that I will find some good mushrooms to eat later. But first, let's check out the shelter. Yeah, guys. Woo! This is it. Nice. Everything is still standing. Nice. Okay. We have a couple of holes in the roof, but that's all right. I can fix that later. It's looking really nice. And the other shelter looks great as well. Okay, here I have a letter which says private property. So if other people cross here, they should know that it's family owned. Okay, wow. So now I have to think about how I will continue with the build of the shelter. So the thing is that here it's pretty open. So I definitely have to close in um, the walls a little bit of the shelter. So this is protected, okay. And also I have to say it would be great if I had an additional wall over here because the wind is coming from this side, the wind and the snow and the rain. So if I had like half a TP which is coming down here and let's say if I make a fireplace here where I'm standing that would be really awesome. The thing is I have a tree standing here so I cannot have the fireplace right here. Okay, this looks okay. Uh. The tip is super heavy, I cannot move it. I try to make the TP as safe as possible because, you know, when other people come here, and let's say children from the village and if they play in the shelter I don't want it to collapse on them so it must be really safe is here definitely so I'm really happy if I can finish the shelter until winter is coming
Okay, this is good enough. So, I have a couple of gaps, but that's okay. I can fill this with debris or twigs, and then I will put on some moss. So I'm taking a couple of these small branches and I put them onto the frame because then the moss has a little bit of more structure to grab on, a little bit more friction, otherwise the moss would just roll off over the time. Okay, I have a ton of firewood lying here, but it's a little bit wet. So now I'm going to put it into the shelter and then it will have a couple of weeks to dry off and I can use it as firewood later in winter time, for example. And yeah, this is looking really good. So now I have to get some moss as well. Okay folks, I'm done with the shelter, looks nice. Next time I will put more moss onto the top and actually this is not waterproof so if it rains now the rain would go through the moss inside of the shelter. So yeah, I have to wait until the leaves of the trees come down and then I can take the leaves and put like a really thick layer of leaves onto the shelter and then it's really waterproof. So right now it's not. Right now it's only kind of inch proof except for the holes at the back and yeah it's a better than nothing shelter but not rainproof. And if there was snow it would stay on top of the shelter but if you make a fire here it would melt the snow around here and then it would rain inside of the shelter. So yeah, this is just the first layer and the next layer would be either leaves or a lot of spruce boughs. And as I said before, it needs to be really thick, like this thick of a layer. Then you can consider this really waterproof. Okay, let's go at the inside now. It's looking really awesome. And yeah, next time I can fill in these gaps here. So I'm just waiting for the leaves to fall down. Yeah, guys. Ah, finally I'm done, except for a couple of gaps, which I'm going to fill in later, at another time. And this is now ready for an overnighter. So next time I'm going to bring my camping gear, and then I can sleep in here. Really awesome. And now it's ready for the winter time, really. So, pretty cool. Also I have made two beds for two persons. I think that's the best bushcraft shelter ever. It's really protected here, because the wind comes from over there. And yeah, in front here we can have a fire, really awesome. So I'm really happy. 
Okay, so that's it for today. I really want to thank you for watching and if you're interested in seeing an overnighter, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. And also if you have the time and if you want to support my channel, check out my website. The link is in the description below. Stay tuned till next time.